Um, I'm going to begin with you, Robert, because you you told um, our colleague Eugene Scott in a Twitter Spaces conversation that you don't often get a chance to write uh, the second draft of history. Journalists are usually writing the first draft. What were you able to say in the research and the writing of this book that perhaps we didn't fully understand when we were first covering the story back in 2020? There were so many lingering questions. I think what happened when George Floyd died was it caused a lot of external conversations. A lot of people asked, what can we do? What have we done about systemic racism? Where are our faults? And lost in that was the humanity of George Floyd himself. And so when we started this project, we knew that we wanted to show the world that George Floyd was loved, that he was ambitious, that he was persistent. And we hoped that by showing who George Floyd was, we could help see who we are as a society and start thinking about ways to create a better tomorrow.